Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. All right, so I want to go ahead and talk about this trending topic today. Um, this story became viral late last night, but now it's making mainstream news, okay? So if you guys do not know, a protest took place in St. Louis, Missouri, and basically protesters were going to the mayor's home. They wanted to go to her home. Um, the mayor is Linda Crossan, and they wanted her to resign. So they decided to go to her home. So the reason why they were asking um, the mayor to resign is because um, a bunch of citizens in St. Louis had wrote letters into the mayor's office. And they're basically asking her, you know, they're basically telling her how to work the budget and they wanted the police to fund it. So she decided to make a Facebook video and basically read off what these citizens were saying. But not only that, she also proceeded to dox them by basically stating their address, their phone number. It was like the weirdest thing. And then when she got called out, she deleted the video. So that caused a bunch of outrage. I want you guys to go ahead and check this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, a now deleted Facebook video from St. Louis Mayor Lida Krusen has thousands calling for her to resign. The mayor gave out the names and home addresses of some St. Louisans who want to defund the police. The mayor says she intended no harm, but some see it as an intimidation tactic. Our Justina Coronel has the latest tonight as this conflict is gaining national attention. Yesterday, she took it to a new level. City of St. Louis Mayor Lyda Krusen is facing sharp criticism. We're asking her to resign. During a Facebook Live briefing on Friday, Mayor Krusen was reading letters from residents who wrote in to say how the budget should be spent. These comment cards given to her office came from protesters wanting to defund police. 60 million to go to health and human services and have zero go to the police. She then gave first and last names plus the streets people lived on. Some were exact addresses. Shortly after, the Facebook video was taken down. In a statement, Mayor Krusen says she was answering a routine question and she apologizes saying, while this is public information, she did not intend to cause distress or harm to anyone. I was completely enraged. But for community activist Maxi Glamour, this was taken too far, calling the outing of addresses an intimidation tactic. You know, these these are my friends. These are people that we are literally risking our lives, our sanity, our health to go out into the street and demand justice. That's why Glamour created a petition for Mayor Krusen to resign. Glamour believes Krusen's actions endangered lives. 20,000 people have signed this in less than 24 hours. Among the list of petitioners, the ACLU and some aldermen. But Krusen's office says she's absolutely not resigning. That person's address is public in a lot of ways. SLU Law Professor John Ammon says these addresses are easy to access, though. If you speak at a public meeting in Jeff City or in St. Louis or anywhere else, a lot of times you do put your name and address, and I think that that's a legitimate request for government to ask. It is a price that some people pay for being outspoken, for being in the public. But Glamour stands by the petition created and demands change. We want change now. Justina Cornell, five on your side. And some say they are not stopping with the petition. They are planning a protest for tomorrow to call for the mayor to step down. There's even talk of a civil lawsuit, but John Ammon tells Justina that that would be difficult because that would require proving intent on the part of the mayor to chill free speech. Where, where Linda, the mayor, lives, it's not like it's just like a regular block on the street. It's in a gated community. So what happened is that the protesters um, broke down the gates and they came into the gated community. And so there's private sidewalks, private streets, and basically the whole area is private. And so all of a sudden, all you see is all these people in this private area heading towards the mayor's house. And this white couple comes running out. They claim that they're scared for their lives. Um, and everybody's and everybody's calling them Karen and Ken. So that's what's trending right now. Karen looks like she robbed stagecoaches on the weekend, honey. Okay, she got that gun pointed so damn hard and that steel face. She just looks so upset. I mean, the whole situation's insane. The man comes out with an AR-15 assault rifle. And they're both ready to put in work. 
So the videos are very, very disturbing. I'm going to show you guys a few clips. I'm also going to show you guys a video that Andrew Caldwell, because he was one of the protesters there that he shot. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary.
Okay, so you guys just saw those videos. So, like I said, the whole situation is really disturbing. And the name of the homeowners, their names are, the woman is 61-year-old Patricia McCloskey. And the husband is 63-year-old Mark McCloskey, okay? That's their name outside of Ken and Karen. Now, what's even more disturbing is that Donald Trump retweeted this video, this morning and a lot of people are accusing him um of trying to incite more racial divide like yesterday you retweeted a video where somebody shouted out white power now you're retweeting a video of these you know of this couple basically pointing guns at peaceful protesters so people are really upset about this so right now it's trending all over twitter everybody's talking about it now um the St. Louis News ended up interviewing him, Mark McCloskey, and he's saying that they basically busted down the gates. Um, this was private property, and I did post the pictures on Instagram showing, you know, where the property line divided and, you know, the gate and all that stuff. And so he was saying that basically him and his wife were eating dinner, and all of a sudden, I guess they heard all this commotion, and they just see tons of people storming into their community. So, of course, their first thought was not to ask, well, what are y'all doing here? But they came outside with guns. You know, if this is not the purge happening in real time, I don't know what is. Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. We are now hearing from the man who stood in his front yard pointing a gun as protesters marched through the Central West End. This video right now on your screen getting national attention. You see the man and his wife there in the striped shirt out in their yard with weapons as protesters marched by their home headed to the home of St. Louis Mayor Lida Krusen to protest. Mark McClowski says the protesters smashed through gates on their street and this is all private property. He also says that he and his family were threatened. Now we did check the area this morning. You can see the wrought iron gate is now gone. There is a chain link gate up with a pink ribbon on it. As soon as I said the uh, words private property and it, it enraged the crowd, there was um, then a horde of people coming through the broken gate. I mean, the gate was broken in pieces. I've, I've uh, sent you the photographs of it. Um, and there were, I don't know how many people, there was a tremendous number of people, all angry, all shouting, all coming towards us. We will have much more on this story for you coming up this afternoon, starting on News 4 at 4 o'clock. All right, you guys, so you guys just saw what they had to say about the situation. So like I said, this is just really eerie to me. What's up? Hey, T-Sippers, to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.